Hey guys, uh, how you doing? My name's uh, Dave. Uh, I just thought uh, I'd do a quick video to show you how to um, basically uh, automate EQ uh, in Logic Pro X. Uh, basically what I've got is I've got this um, cello track. Um, I've been playing around with the EQ, so I'll just uh, drop that back down. Uh, it's basically a cello track, so it's nothing special. Right, and basically uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate some EQ on that, uh, basically just for fun, uh, and to uh, show you guys how to do it. So what you want to do is make sure that you have um, your automation window open, uh, and what you can do is um, drop this option here um, down to touch, um, and basically uh, open up your EQ, EQ window, excuse me, uh, EQ window. Uh, and then record over the top of it. Uh, and what's going to happen is as I record and as I change well, there's basically just a phase effect there but um, it also automates EQ. So that's uh, how you uh, automate EQ. Um, uh, have your automation tab open. Make sure that's on touch. Uh, and you can do anything like that. Now if it's on touch uh, and you change it, uh, you can automate any setting. Um, so anyway, you can see all the cool squiggly lines. And then basically as I change them, it uh, changed uh, which one of the. So if you go in here, uh, channel EQ. So you can change all of these settings. And as I change them uh, in the... Uh, graphical display, uh, it uh, automated them, uh, and you can bring them up and edit them or delete them if you want to, uh, so now that was just like a simple cello track that I put some, and I, at the end it just as I record, and as I change, apparently they recorded me speaking as well, um, anyway, so that's that, I uh, hope that helps somebody out, righto, peace guys, be good.